Welcome back to the shop. I'm making some uh, blanks for tool holders for my um, mill and uh, I thought you might be interested in this so uh, just have a look at this. Right so this is where we are. Uh, that's what we're going to make uh, in various lengths and a couple of different diameters uh, and um, I've got about 15 spare holes on the tool pallet and uh, I'm just um, turning these blanks down with the uh, spigot, an oversized spigot, just to basically hog off all the material that I don't need, just to get, get them uh, more or less in the right size. This is the uh, tool we're using. That tip has cut six or seven of these um, uh, blanks without any uh, fracturing. Uh, it's made by Kenner Metal and it's a uh, WNMG 060408MN. Uh, I have to say, you get six cutting edges per tool and it's quite ferocious. Sorry about the aeroplane in the background, but uh, I've got the lathe set to its fastest speed, which is 1200. Alright, so here we go. First pass um, will be just enough to... This, this bar is actually um, uh, old hydraulic ram uh, stuff that came out of a, a skip for a hydraulic company near here. And um, so because it's chrome plated, the first uh, pass will be to get under the chrome. So uh, let me just do that, and then I'll then we'll I'll show you what I mean about being how brutal this thing is. There we go, that's it.
hour later, finished ruffling them out and cleared up. So we've taken 40mm EN1A hydraulic cylinder from 40mm diameter down to 20mm uh, roughed out for 30 mils long and it's it's only taken what well, I'll put it up on the screen it's only a two or three minutes it's phenomenal how hard you can drive uh, carbide inserts even in a domestic lathe uh, having said that you could hear the lathe was bogging down it's um, uh, that was pretty much as much as I'd want to push this this particular machine you know the the motor it's a thousand watt motor a continuously rated thousand watt motor but even so that's about as much as you really want to take off in one pass thanks for watching see you next time